You can buy just about anything on Amazon, from cotton balls all the way up to a house. But you have to be very careful what you're purchasing on Amazon, because sometimes you think you're buying a container to build your new house, and you end up buying a toy. Whoopsie! But that's not what I want you to do. So we're gonna be looking at five actual container homes that you can buy on Amazon, and we're gonna be breaking them down exactly what they have in them, and how much they cost, and if they have free shipping, because everybody wants that Amazon Prime free shipping. Malcolm McLean invented shipping containers in 1956, but the trend for building homes out of shipping containers officially didn't start until 1987 by a man named Philip Clark. The first shipping container home that we're gonna be looking at is they're calling a tiny home. It seems that everybody wants to call it something a tiny home these days. This house is $39,750. It is prime. It delivers pretty quickly too. Let's give you a little specifics of this. It's a fully furnished tiny home, prefabrication from new shipping containers. It includes a bedroom, shower, toilet, sink, kitchenette, and living area. Double patio doors with secure container doors and fully insulated. It has a bottom sewer connection, easy side water and electrical connection. It includes appliances shown, heated and aired with mini split. I wonder if it comes with that little tiny microwave that's sitting there. For some reason, I don't think it comes with that. <laughs> the current weight for this is 7,500 pounds. The company is Mods International and it has customer reviews of three stars, but it has eight ratings. The always the reviews crack me up because half the time the people that review them haven't even bought the product. They're just making an assumption. So let's take a look at the reviews. This one gives it five stars. I haven't purchased one of these, but all these negative comments infuriate me. Everyone has always so negative, whiny and pissy these days. Why not speak of the positive benefits of this product? This is a great little starter for someone who is out of high school or college or as a guest house or Airbnb rental. There are some challenges in some states, but there are states with communities exclusively for tiny homes. You just have to do your research and the quality of the container can't be beat. It's an option for someone to have a roof over their head at a low cost. I agree with them, but they didn't buy the product, so it kind of seems ridiculous for them to give a review. I don't know, what do you think? This one gave it a three-star review. Consult your government agency first, I agree. While these definitely serve their intended multifaceted purposes, please make sure that your local building inspection department or state does not have the restrictions that to prevent you from buying this home. Because these homes are factory built, most likely they will require inspection while being built in the plant to assure in compliance and requirements. Also keep in mind there's also infrastructure that must go underneath these homes. You can't just drop them on the dirt and move in. These are heavy and will sink in the ground underneath if it gets wet. Well, this is true. Always do your homework. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance is what my dad always says. In 1994, Stuart Brand wrote a book about converting shipping containers into office spaces. The book was called How Buildings Learn. It was the first publication to mention converting shipping containers into buildings. This is where the shipping container homes trend began and truly gained momentum. The next one that we're gonna be looking at is the one that is in the thumbnail because I'm sure that's the one you really wanna see. And it was the prettiest one to me. I want your opinion at the end of this if you think this was the best of the shipping containers you could buy on Amazon. So this one is called the Cliff Premium Prefabricated Modular House. It's listed on Amazon for 119,000 with free shipping and they only have two left. So if you were thinking that this is gonna be the one that you want, you better hurry up because they only got two left. And they also give you a full blueprint of the house. It has a large living room with an open kitchen and dining area. It has a sauna bathroom with a direct entrance to the terrace. The calculated total area is about 774 square feet. It has a three bedroom or two bedroom option or one bathroom or two bathroom option. The weight is 44,802 pounds. It comes with free shipping, but it's not eligible for Amazon Prime. The one listed is considered an extra large and the color is to be agreed. <laughs> I guess you get to choose your color. What kind of plumbing does this prefab come equipped with? Water supplies, sanitary equipment, sewage, an outlet for the toilet, 
drain for the shower, drain for the bathroom floor, drain for the sauna floor, an outlet basin, an outlet kitchen, an outlet washing machine, hot water boiler, water meters, and water filters. So that was nice that they answered their questions. Let's see what other questions people had. What kind of warranty does the modular home come with? Roofing, siding, plumbing, electrical fixtures? Answer, the warranty is two years from delivery. Well, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good warranty for a uh, house. A typical stick build house, it has like a what they call the bumper to bumper warranty for a year. And then you have five years on certain components here in Louisiana. Every area is gonna have something a little bit different when it comes to traditional stick built home. Are the appliances included? All is included and there are many options as well. For more information, our sales team at salesqhaas.eu. Hmm, let's go take a look at their website really quick. Their website is impressive. It says homes that make an impression. They have all their different kinds of modular homes, including their container homes. They have 15 years experience. So on Amazon, they're listing their houses as container houses, because if you type in container homes on Amazon, their house comes up. They're actually saying that it's a modular home. It's a container home with some really cool wood beams on it. <laughs> One thing you're gonna have to do, no matter where you buy any house, is always do a little bit of research of who you're buying the house from. So if they have a website, we're gonna be looking at them. Fun fact. The first building to be fully comprised of shipping containers was the Simmons Town High School Hostel, which was completed in 1998. It's capable of housing 120 people comfortably at any given time. The next shipping container home we're gonna be looking at is the Economical Prefabrication Mo Modular Mobile Portable con Container House. <laughs> they threw them all in there. I was surprised they didn't put Tiny Home in that listing as well. The Economical Prefabrication Modular Mobile Portable Container House is listed at $14,999. And the company name is something I cannot pronounce, but I'll definitely look up their website and do a little research on them for you as well. And this will give you the blueprint of the inside of the house. It does come with a toilet and sink. And a little kitchen area as well. It seems that they've made a whole little community out of these pods. No details, obviously just an idea. If you can't even support a listing, then the customer support and the building quality must be horrendous. If you've never bought it, how can you make these claims? <laughs> I don't understand why people post these things. What kind of heating and cooling does it have? Does it come with a setup? Are there foundation plans? <laughs> the wall and roof are included. EPS cement panel and good for insulation. For the bottom and roof pre-install, you just need to simply install your local, actually include bottom chassis, so need foundation or not is depend on you. I'm just reading it the way it's written. It's not me. Can you guys make the three bedroom instead of the two, make the bottom into a bedroom? Sure, if you need more large for this area, we can custom made for you. This product ship from your front door? Yes, but it's very expensive. How many square feet is it? It's around 619.79 square feet with a deck area. So let's take a little look at the company itself. I wanna do a little investigation because that's what you're supposed to do when you're buying any kind of house. So I did a little copy and paste. Let's go over here and, aha. Scroll down a little bit. Wait a minute, look at here. That house on here is only $4,500. On Amazon, it's $14,999. Holy cow. I'm not verifying if this website is any good or not, but I'm just saying it's gonna save you like, what? $10,000, which is a lot of money. I'm glad I did a little investigation for you before you went ahead and bought that. The first shipping container home was built in the United States and was completed in 2007 by Peter De Maria, an architect from California.
This next one would make the cutest little potting shed or uh, what do they call it? The she shed. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. It's called the 20 or 40 expandable container house with solar energy. So it's a little green too. It's listed for $36,800. <laughs> That's expensive. And it's an extra thousand dollars for shipping. There's no prime free shipping on this one. Useful in varieties of situations that make your life more comfortable. It's easy to assemble, has clear instructions to help you. Some of the advantages they say it's a two hour installation. It's anti-rust. It's waterproof, fireproof, with a fire rating of an A grade. Simple foundation, you just need 12 piece concrete block foundation. It's environmentally friendly product with solar power system on the top of the house. The application can be used as an accommodation of a living house, office, dormitory, camp, toilet, bathroom, shower room, changing room, school, classroom, library, shop, booth, kiosk, meeting room, canteen, and guardhouse. And it appears that they answered some questions as well. I'm not a DIY person. When I get the home, will I need help? Probably not. I didn't buy it because the company has never responded to any of my questions other than reviews have said the same. Ooh, the company didn't answer, somebody else did. Oops, ooh, let's look at their site. Welcome to WZH. See, on Amazon, they're considering these container home, but on their own website, they're calling them modular homes. And if you want to really make sure if it meets modular specifications, you're going to have to check with your local officials, like somebody had said in a previous review. Never take their word for it that they will meet your building codes in your area. Make sure you take the specifics of any building that you're about to purchase and put down to your local county officials first, because you can have a real problem if you have that delivered to your house, and then all of a sudden you can't have it at all. That would happen here in my area there's many places that don't allow for tiny homes or structures that small that have all the uh, components in it so definitely double check fun fact the trend for shipping containers began to grow in 2012 when todd and d miller from australia lost their home in a flood the couple decided to build their new home out of shipping containers creating 6,000 square foot mansion called the graceville container house created from 31 shipping containers situated on a 706 square meter block in the suburb of Graceville. This next one we're going to be looking at, it measures in at 21 by 18 feet. The layout comes with a toilet, including roof, floor, and wall panels, one glass sliding door, four sliding windows, one bathroom with small windows, with electricity, a DB box, switch sockets, AC sockets, with one bathroom, one toilet, one shower, one wash basin, and water pipes. It's anti-rust, all material is hot galvanized steel, simple foundation, just need 12-piece concrete foundation, wide application for this container, such as accommodations for living house, dormitory, camp, library, shop, and so on. So it seems that this company is the number one seller of container homes on Amazon. But just like buying anything that you buy on Amazon or anywhere for that matter, make sure you're zoned for your area to have that kind of structure in there. Not every area is gonna allow for you to have any kind of tiny home, potted shed, anything like that. So make sure you have all those things approved ahead of time. So what did you think of these container homes that you can find on Amazon? Is it something that you would be doing for your house? I want to know. Let me know in the comments section. If you want to watch some other videos about different kinds of homes, including ones that fold up in two hours, go ahead and click this video right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because you matter.